Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix low FPS and stuttering issue with Total War Warhammer 3 game on your Windows computer. The first step is to add below entry to the script for this. If you bought the game from Steam, then go to this location. If you have the Game Pass version, then go to this location. If you have the Epic version, go to this location. So I have the Game Pass version, so copy this location and then open file explorer on your computer and then on the top paste the location and then hit the enter key now over here create a new text file so make a right click over here then select new then click on text document and name this text file as user.script make a right click then click on rename and name it as user.script.txt click on yes in my case I was I already have this so once you create it copy this entry this entry is provided in the video description copy it make a double click and then paste it over here in your case it will be empty so paste this entry and then click on file then click on save now launch the game and that should go ahead and improve the performance now the next step is to launch the game from the game installation folder from the exe file so instead of launching the game from steam or epic games launcher launch it from the game installation folder so go to steam make a right click on the game i have the game pass version over here so i'm showing you with different games so make a right click this, this is just an example so make a right click on the warhammer 3 game and then select manage then click on browse local files it will straight away take you to the warhammer game installation folder now make a right click on the game exe file and then select properties go to the compatibility tab then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator put a check over here then click on apply ok or you can even run it without administrator so make a double click and then run the game from the game installation folder so do not click on play over here go to the game installation folder and then launch the game from the game exe file from the game installation folder this is just an example I'm showing with another game because I have the game pass version now next step is to unplug multiple monitors so if you have multiple monitors connected so unplug it also close MSI Dragon Center if you have this application Corsair application now also disable all the Razer applications so if Razer applications are running make sure that you close it and also end Nahimic services in task manager so make a right click and then click on task manager now if you this is for ASUS user so select um, Nahimic software and then click on the end task so find this software if this service is running end it close all the background applications so make sure that you close everything make sure only this client stream client or epic client is running and the game and uh, close everything including all the browsers also close all the overclocking applications so if you have MSI afterburner or river tuner running close it now for many users this has worked so make sure that you run the game from the game installation folder this has worked for many users now next step is to disable e-course in the system BIOS so if your BIOS has this feature that is e-course so go ahead and disable it and then launch the game so you can go to your system BIOS and then disable this e-core and then check the performance next step is to lower down graphics settings uh, make some changes in graphics settings to improve the performance go to options and then click on graphics go to main set the quality to high or medium so if everything is set to ultra you can select high or medium or even low put a check on the box which says run in window and then check now go to advanced and then turn off anti-aliasing from here you can turn it off for texture filtering you can go to 4x or 8x and then check the performance and set these 
quality to high, medium or low. And then for texture quality, you can set it to high or medium and then check the performance and then turn off unlimited video memory. So if this is checked, turn it off and then check the performance. Still, there is no improvement in that case, you can turn it on. Also turn off the V-Sync and then check. And then apply all the changes. You can also lower down the resolution scale from here and then check the performance. So click on apply changes and then launch the game again and check the performance. Also run the game on dedicated graphic card for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings. Now click on browse. This is for Steam and Epic Games user. So go to browse. Click on browse, then go to the game installation folder, select the game exe file, then click on add. And once the game is added, I am showing with different game over here. So once the game is added, click on options, select high performance, then click on save. Now, if you bought the game, if you have the game pass subscription, in that case, go to browse. I'm sorry, don't go to browse. Click on this drop down option, select Microsoft Store app and then click on select an app and over here you will find Warhammer Total War Warhammer 3 game then click on add in my case it's already added yeah now once the game is added click on it then click on options select high performance then click on save now launch the game now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have Nvidia card go to Nvidia website if you have AMD card go to AMD website Go to NVIDIA website, select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here and select the right operating system and then click on start search and then scroll down. This is the latest driver. Click on get download and then click on download now. Now once the download is complete, run this exe file. Now you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next. And then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next and after the clean installation restart you can now the next step is to update your windows to the latest version so go to the start menu then click on settings and then click on update and security or windows update and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed now restart your computer and then launch the game now if you are windows 10 users uh, if you can Try upgrading to Windows 11 so that can go ahead and improve the performance so if you can upgrade to Windows 11. For Epic Games Launcher user and Steam users you can also verify the game files in Steam so make a right click then select properties go to the local files tab then click on verify integrity of game files and then check the performance. So one of the steps should help you to improve the FPS and stuttering issue on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel